Today, I will show you everything you need to do before Glitter Frost ends. They're all super useful, make sure to keep watching. Before we start, let's see who won the 500 Robux in my previous video. Congrats to the winner! Let's start the video now! You guys have been requesting this video for a while, and it's finally here! First thing first, we'll talk about the items that you should buy. Let's start with the items that are available in the shop now. We have the Starfrost set. This set was our very first Christmas set. It was released back in 2019. Since it's the oldest set, a lot of people have bought it. And because a lot of people have bought it, the demand isn't high and it affects the value. The value is also really low. So I don't recommend you buying the Starfrost set for profit trading. Although, if you want to buy it for dressing up, you should just buy it. Next, we got the Winter Guardian set. This set was our second Christmas set, it was released in 2020, a year after the Starfrost set. A lot of people already have this set too, so it has low demand. The value isn't high either, so I also don't recommend you buying this set. Next up, we have the December's Dream Set. This set was released back in 2021. Even though it's not that old, I still don't think it's a good idea to buy the set for profit trading. The value has decreased a lot. So I don't really recommend you buying this for profit trading too. Let's head to the Lux Elegance Winter Shop. We'll skip the TTYL skirt for now. We have the Peppermint Princess set. This set was released in 2021 too along with December's Dream. The set's demand and value isn't that high too, so I don't recommend buying it. Now, for these items, I also don't recommend you buying any of them. You won't get a lot of profit reselling those items. Now, we have the TTYL set. This set is very new, it was released in Glitterfrost 2023. You can buy the skirt in the shop. But for the corset, sleeves, earrings, and purse, you need to get it from the advent calendar. But if you missed it, you can always buy them through trading. I highly recommend you to buy the TTYL set because I'm 100% sure the value is going to skyrocket in a few months. The set fits perfectly for Y2K outfits, and I'm sure a lot of people would want to buy them. I'm probably gonna stock up on the set lol. Okay, next we got the Snow Swan set. This set was also released in Glitterfrost 2023. You can buy the corset, sleeves, heels, and skirt in the shop. But for the gloves, hat, and necklace, you need to get them from the advent calendar. But if you missed them, you can buy them through trading. I also highly recommend you to buy the Snow Swan set because it's very new, it has many toggles, and it's super pretty. It's already in high demand now, but I'm sure the demand and value will multiply by a lot once it's off sale. Just like the December's Dream Set when it first released and went off sale, the value multiplied by 5 times. That's crazy, so it's super worth it to buy duplicates of the set for profit trading. Lastly, I have some additional items that I recommend you guys buying before the Glitterfrost event ends. They're all obtainable through the advent calendar by the way. Okay, firstly, we have the Hugly Snuggly Knitted Beanie Hat. I'm only about 50% sure that this item will be profitable, but I recommend you to buy it anyway because it's super cute. Next, the Darling Academia Uniform Jacket and Skirt. This one will definitely be profitable. It already has a high demand now. I'm sure the demand and value will skyrocket in a few months. Make sure to stock up on this one. Lastly, we have Lolita Lovely Bow Lacy Scarf. This scarf is adorable, people who doesn't have the item will definitely buy them through trading. And that will make the demand high. You should stock up on this one as well. That's all of the items that you need to stock up on for now. But since there are still 4 items that haven't been revealed yet in the advent calendar, there might be some additional items that you need to get from the advent calendar. I'm guessing day 27 is a furniture. Day 28 are diamonds. I have no idea what day 29 is, but it seems like another scarf. 
If it's another cute item you should probably stock up on it too. And lastly, day 30. If it's actually an elf ear cuff like I predicted, you should definitely get them because they'll be so cute. Hey Royals! An advertisement might play in the next few seconds. So if you would like to support this channel, please do not skip the ad. Thank you! Oh yeah, if you guys finished the advent calendar and you got all of the items without missing any, there will be a grand prize given by Royale High. You will get a badge and an item, or maybe we will get more than one. We don't know what the grand item is yet, but if it's not a furniture, I also recommend you to have some duplicates of it. Just in case some people didn't finish the calendar and they wanted them. Moving on from the items, we have the locker door decors. There are 5 door decors that are on sale right now, we have the princess lights door in butterfly blue, rare gems locker door in tanzanite, rare gems locker door in emerald, rare gems locker door in amethyst, and rare gems locker door in tourmaline. They're gonna go off sale in 5 days, so make sure to buy them if you want to before they go off sale. Next up, of course you have to get the timber and chimney surfer badges. They won't be obtainable anymore once the glitter frost update ends. If you don't know how to get those badges, check out this video I made 3 weeks ago. I explained how to get the badges in that video. Next, you need to do the Glitterfrost themed quests. I believe we got 3 new quests on the Glitterfrost update. It's the caroling for your dorm neighbors, caroling for the Glitterfrost tree, and warm up the castle's heart. Let me show you how to complete them. For the caroling for your dorm neighbor's quest, you need to go to the student dormitories. Stay in the hallway, don't go inside your dorm. Grab your caroling book and sleigh bells from your backpack. And sing any song here. Wait until the bar fills up, and you're done. Next is the caroling for the glitter frost tree quest. It's basically the same as the last one, but you'll need to sing in front of the glitter frost tree in the castle's heart. Wait for the bar to fill up, and you're finished. Lastly, for the warm up the castle's heart quest, you need to go to the castle's heart, and light up all of the candles that are scattered around the castle's heart. If you've already lit up all of them, your quest will be completed. Moving on, we got the dorm furnitures. There are some furnitures that are limited to glitter frost event. It will leave once the glitter frost event ends. So if you like to build and want to stock up on glitter frost furnitures before they go off sale, this is your sign to do so. They will be off sale in about 5 days after this video was uploaded, so be fast. That's all for today, hope this video was helpful. It's the 26th already, but Merry Christmas Royals! Enjoy your holidays! Speaking of the 26th, my 10 Snow Swan Sets giveaway will be ending today at 11pm Eastern Standard Time. That's 3 hours after this video was posted. If you want to get a Snow Swan Set, go to this video and watch it to see how to join the giveaway. The winners will be announced in my next video. Comment the Santa Claus emoji if you made it to the end. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day Royals!